Oh my god, look at this cliff! A little bit more dodgy than I would like. Jesus yeah. Christ! Jesus Christ! Whoa, where is it going? I have no idea, and I have no idea where this mountain is now. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Poor Bumblebee got so muddy yesterday. Oh my God. So we are just cleaning off a little bit the mud from the chain and then we will oil it again. But yeah, I mean. I think I this is the muddiest the Bumblebee has ever been. Really, look at it. It's absolutely covered from yesterday. I'm sorry, Bumblebee. <laughs> Yeah, little yeah, kitty. Cutie little Yay. boy. Yes. Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 321 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Sikuani in Peru, and we got here last night when there was a crazy storm just rolling in. <laughs> There was actually hail coming down right here. The entire ground was white, covered in hailstones. But luckily, the first place we tried, this place here, had a room for us. So we were able to have a really, really, really cozy and peaceful night in the end. It was the best room ever with the best bed and the pillows. Everything was so nice. But it's looking a lot, lot nicer today. We have blue skies again. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here. And today we are going to be following this road up to Chekakupe, where we're going to turn off and apparently see some colorful mountains before returning back to Chekakupe and continuing up that road to finish the day in Cusco. Yes, we're going to Rainbow Mountain, a destination we were waiting for a long, long time. So I really can't wait to go and visit this place. Um, our navigation says it takes about two hours and it's already 8.40, so better hit the road, let's go. Bienvenidos a la ciudad de Sikwani. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Oh, look at this, the cutest little dog ever. Oh, okay, gracias, ciao. Ciao. Nice, what a beautiful day. And this morning we finally finished our chocolate cake, massive amount of chocolate cake that we bought. <laughs> In yeah. Bolivia we bought it, no? Yes, yes. I just asked and they said that this was 10 Bolivianos. 10 Bolivianos is like one pound 30 or something. So we said, yeah, we'll have it. It took us, I think, two weeks. <laughs> it was like five <laughs> giant logs of cake that were like sort of chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> and we were just having them day after day after day. Oh, oh man. No, I'm not buying this anymore. <laughs> but I'm so glad that it's not raining anymore. I'm so glad the storm's over. And it looks like the perfect day for us to go and visit some lovely rainbow mountains. Oh, for sure. And I'm so excited because I have seen the pictures of the rainbow mountain uh, a long time ago. And I was like, oh, it's so nice. I want to see it. And now finally the day has arrived. So we have about 50 miles to get there. But Google Maps says that will probably take us about two hours so let's count on a little bit of traffic some windy roads probably some dirt roads but we will get there fingers crossed just saw a sign for panaderia so we're gonna see if we can grab something for lunch let me see what they've got hola hola uh pan con queso see sí. sí, sí. ah okay Perfect. See, um, seis pan con queso? Yeah. Seis? Gracias. Oh, gracias. <laughs> hmm, gracias. Yeah. Hmm, look at all this bread. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, para ti. Hey, it's okay, para ti, gracias. Beautiful homemade bread with some cheese on top. Can't get better than that. Okay, now I have to try. You have to try? 
All right, let's eat some cheese bread. So according to the Garmin, we're coming up to the turn off just here. Yeah, I think that's right. Looks like they had carnival here as well. Look at this, it's beautiful. Oh, and look at the street, it's absolutely beautiful. Cool. If you go straight here, then we will join this road. Okay. To the Rainbow I, Mountain. Yeah, I think that's going to be the road up into the mountains. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just surprised that there's no like signs, signs or anything saying like you know you, it's it's a pretty famous attraction in Peru. Mm -hmm. You would have thought there'd be a thing saying like this is the Rainbow Mountain up here. Yeah. Oh look, they've got like uh, either sheep or llama pelts. Wow. Or alpaca. It looked like the skin was still on there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the whole skin. It's not oh. like the. It's not like just the uh, wool. I think that was the whole. Crazy. Skin. Oh. <laughs> Every single speed bump. Yes. Look at all women wearing this hat here. They love that I, hat. I love the hat too. Oh, oh, there you go. That's the end of the page section then. I think so. Oh no. So we still have 17 miles to get up to the Rainbow Mountain parking or at least what it says on iOverlander is the Rainbow Mountain parking. Yeah, let's see how we get on, eh? Hey, iOverlander has never failed us before. <laughs> Hola, buenas. Beautiful little track just running down in the valley by the river. Beautiful. I just sure hope that we're on the right road. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> we haven't seen a single sign saying, yeah, this way, this way. No, we're just like following this little, this little red track. Yeah, and compared to the pictures of the Rainbow Mountain, I mean, this area here doesn't look at all like that, you know? So <laughs> I know. I have no idea where we're going, but we can only hope that when we get 13 miles down this track, there it will be. <laughs> yes. Rainbow Mountain. Yes. But anyway, a really stunning area here. Yeah, it absolutely is. Oh, hold on. Some puddles. Okay, it looks like we're leaving the river now and the switchbacks have begun. Looks like we're starting to climb. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. <gasps> I still hope that we took the right road. <laughs> oh, me too. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. But so far we haven't really seen any other cars. If this is a tourist destination, I mean this is not a very popular one. Crazy and still people living here and building here on the side of the mountain. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Our first herd of mounted alpaca for the day. Yeah. <laughs> this is a dog. Should be careful of them. Yeah. Oh, there's one just there. Oh, oh, so cute. It's a landslide, but we have enough room to pass, luckily. We're climbing up, definitely. Oh, yeah, now we are. <laughs> oh, getting a little bit butterflies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Did I mention I don't really like heights too much? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm staying on this side. Yeah. Please, please don't be a truck coming. Wow. Whoa, look at this. Epic. Oh my goodness. Woo. That's crazy. We're getting closer. Yeah. I still can't imagine that in three miles we're getting to a rainbow mountain. But anyway, oh my God, look at this cliff. Be careful, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is a um, kind of hairy ride. 
like it's nice and pleasant but sometimes a little bit challenging yeah some pretty big cliff drops yeah and we're going through some pretty big gorges on the way but man it is spectacular though spectacular. yeah spectacular but you wouldn't really want to come up here in like a camper van or something <laughs> no not really haven't had a nice road like this like nice and challenging road like this in a long time normally the roads are just challenging and not nice yeah <laughs> it's pretty stunning okay so i overlander says that this road is actually a new road to get to a higher parking which is a little bit closer to rainbow mountain so this is the road we're going to try and take but yeah we'll have to see how it is <laughs> Yeah, because it looks like he's gonna have a lot of switchbacks We're just deciding if we're gonna continue up because I mean this track looks a little bit dodgy It's uh, pretty gravelly and look at the drop over here. We also read on iOverlander that Even when you get to the car park at the top of this hill It's still like a one and a half to three hour hike to actually get to the mountain which we didn't really realize actually so we're not 100 percent sure if it's worth us to try and take on this road some comments said this was a pretty gnarly road to get up to the parking so i don't know i don't have hiking shoes i have flip-flops i lost two pair of shoes since we started the trip but it's a difficult one because i really really wanted to see it but i didn't really know how hard it is to get there a little bit more dodgy than I would like. Okay, we've decided we're at least going to try and get up to the parking and see if we can at least see the mountain, even if we don't hike to it, or at least just get to the parking and come back down again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's continue, shall we? Yeah. I'm going to stay on the inside and we'll see how we get on. Yeah. Just going nice and easy, nice and slow. Yeah. And I'm not looking on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> No. By the way, there is actually a river here that we have to cross. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, just go. Go, 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 go. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> oh my goodness. And now we've got some switchbacks coming up. I think there's like four major switchbacks. So, see how we get on with those. Yeah. Very good, very good. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Okay. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think if we can just get to the car park, we can say we've done as much as we can, right? <laughs> At least with Bumblebee, that's as far as we can go. Okay, let's go round, 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 round. Second switch back. Very oh, good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, let's go on the outside here to the inside. Outside, inside. Racing line, <laughs> yeah, real racing line. Ali, great, great job. Very good. <laughs> yeah. You know, for the new roads to the Rainbow Mountain parking, it's not exactly the greatest of new roads, hey? <laughs> yeah, landslides, I think. Yeah. I mean, look at this bit. Jesus yeah. Christ. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. <sighs> okay, I think this is our last... Switchback. Sort of, yeah. Our last cliff-facing switchback coming up in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think we're home free. Nice. You can already sort of see multi-colors along the uh, cliff over there though. Look at that. Red rock, green plants. <laughs> That's as much of a rainbow mountain yeah, as we need, eh? <laughs> One, two, yeah. three, yeah. four, yeah. five. Uh -huh. Bravo. <laughs> so, these, so these locals just came running over. Uh -huh. Apparently it's uh, five solas each to enter. Okay. 
Dois, dois. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Perfect. Perfecto. But the whole village was like running over. Yeah. Seeing us coming, they were like, quick. <laughs> tourists, tourists. <laughs> We've been the only people that I've seen the entire time, so. Yeah. Yeah. I not, wonder. Not frequently visited. I wonder if there are people. Ah, maybe we need the ticket here. Yeah. To get past the gate. Okay. Hola, buenas. Buenas. Uh, apparently there's now two t another ticket my love look at this we got another ticket my love yeah <laughs> not not excited about that <laughs> oh, man. so at first i was like no worries five five and now it's 2020 oh, yeah no. exactly okay cinco minutos okay okay muchas gracias anyway he said it's just five more minutes up here and then we're there okay so whether or not we can actually see it, I don't know, but we'll find out in a minute. Yeah. Where is it going? I have no idea, and I have no idea where this mountain is now. I'm really confused. Anyway, we'll keep following the trail. Yeah. I think this is the car park, because it yeah. says here. I think so too. It says uh, prohibited entry unless authorized. Oh, okay. And that road is definitely not a car road. So I think this is the top. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Rainbow Mountain! Hello! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's have a little look around and see if we can find someone. There were some fellas here. They're like uh, painting a house or building this house here. I just asked them. They said that we can't go up with the motorbike, but we can go up with an ATV. But uh, there's no one here to drive the ATV, I think. So he said, wait here, he's gonna see what he can do. Okay, so the guy has told us that there's no one around and um, I guess they don't have the keys to the ATVs. So I guess this is as far as we can get because the weather is not good enough for us to start like a two hour hike up there, so. No, no, we are really bad prepared and I can see over there the rain is coming already. Oh my God, yeah, it is on the other side of that valley. But we had a cool idea. We are gonna try and fly the drone from here and see if we can at least fly the drone to the Rainbow Mountain. So let's give it a go. <laughs> It looks like something here. Yeah, I can start to see something. <laughs> Look, 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 there's Rainbow Mountain and... And there we are down there. Rainbow Mountain there, we are there. Very close. Close enough. <laughs> Bye bye beautiful Rainbow Mountain! <laughs> we actually realized that just, just, just up there is actually it. That, that is actually the Rainbow Mountain right there. So we can actually just about see it with our own eyes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we were there in drone spirit. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Brain. So now we really, really, really have to get down from the mountain because if you've been watching our series so far, you've seen that we've been stuck high altitude with some really bad weather quite a few times. Yeah. So we tried to get here as early as we could, but 
it is the rainy season in Peru and it does not look that great so man let's just start making our way down hey yes we are on really high altitude at the moment 4,800 meters and the weather can change in in minutes you know yeah starting to get some raindrops on the helmet uh oh not good it's not good because look this road looks like it would turn into just rivers of mud basically <laughs> mud rivers it's definitely not the kind of road that i really want to be riding if it starts to rain heavily no so we desperately desperately need to get down now man the weather's not on our side hey okay here we have to be careful here yeah this is our switchback number one very good yes very good Woo. yeah i'm not taking that one fast <laughs> come on rain stay away just for another literally like i think 15 minutes and we'll be back down from this bit at least and onto yeah. the gravel road <sighs> jesus come on oh that looks rough here yeah it is rough here let's stay on the inside <laughs> yeah just remember if we're falling just dive to the left okay Yeah. Yeah, 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 just through it. Yep. Yeah. Now we've got like a few switchbacks to bring us down, and uh, the bottom is over there. <laughs> yeah. To the outside, try and cut into the inside. Yes. And not down there. Okay. Let's take the inside as much as possible. Yes. Okay, cross the river. Yeah, this was a bit of a dodgy one as well. Oh. Yeah, I think there was a landslide or something going on. Up or down? I Up. don't know. Up? Yeah. Yes, the valley floor is coming. <laughs> you need to oh. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Okay, nice. a little bit of a gravel slide there. Yeah. Well, a little bit of a heart attack just before the end. Well, yep. <sighs> yes. Good. Whew, okay. We've reached the valley floor, but the journey back to the main road is definitely not over yet. But it's definitely, definitely a little bit better here. This is a gravel road instead of a mud road. So I think from here on, we should be all right. Let's hope for the best. starting to get a little bit further down now and the rain has eased up quite a bit which is good yeah really lucky yeah i was worried that it was going to get worse and worse and worse but yeah it got better oh look at these houses traditional mud brick houses that's really really charming actually i like it yeah i like it too hello doggy <laughs> this dog's like taking a ride <laughs> <laughs> a free ride that must be a really bouncy ride though. <laughs> nice. Are we back down? There we go. Woo! The end of our dirt road adventure. It, oh, oh. Jesus, bash plate. <laughs> but that means we should be joining the main road in a minute. And that will take us onwards to Crisco. Yes. Bash plate. <laughs> so we're just stopping here in Chekakupe which is basically the town, the entrance town for Rainbow Mountain. And there's a couple of places here, so we're going to see if we can get a bite to eat because I'm super hungry. <laughs> Vegetariano? No? Nada. Nada? No food there. No. No food there, no food there. <laughs> no food for us. We'll have to try somewhere else. So we just found ourselves another place um, and we asked if they could do us a sandwich. And she said she doesn't have any bread. So I said, we've got bread, no worries. And then she says, I haven't got any eggs. Oh, okay, so what do you have? And she says, I've got some cheese. Oh, and she has chips. So basically we're gonna have our bread with her cheese and her chips and some coffees. So we can kind of piece together a lunch. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's There a bunch of people around the bike and Lavi's gone out to say hello, I don't know what she's doing. Oh, 
Are they trying to steal it or what? I went to them with my pata knife. <laughs> Beautiful lunch. Ah, and here is one of the many, many, many blockages that um, was caused by the protests. Wow. That's crazy. So we passed by quite a few of these already, but mostly they've been cleared back to the side. But you can see there were tires on fire here. You can see that they've like sort of excavated the whole hill and just chucked it on the road. Super crazy. Yeah, wow. Yeah, January was a really crazy time in Peru. Yeah. So now we've got 55 miles to get to Cusco. And uh, we've booked a hotel with a free breakfast. Woo! Because we're just luxury people now. <laughs> oh, totally. No, it literally cost about 11, 12 pounds a night. We really, really have to catch up with some editing. We have been on the road now for six days. All the way since we left La Paz, we've just been going, 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 going. Long, long distances, long, long days. So I'm really ready to have a break. Bienvenidos a Cusco. So our hotel is about two miles away. But whilst we're riding in, I thought I'd give you some facts about the wonderful historical center of Peru. So Cusco was actually the center of the Inca Empire. But now the city has a population of 430,000 people and uh, is a major, major touristic center here in Peru, basically because of its proximity to Machu Picchu. But this entire area, not just Machu Picchu, this entire area is steeped in Inca history and ruins and archaeological sites and the city of Cusco itself is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Apparently our hotel is one of these. So we're on the right street but we just can't find the place. Cale Federanda B10B. What do you think? Well here we go. No way have I got to go down there. Oh my goodness. Hola. Buenas. Let's go out a little bit and then in. Okay. Let me see. Yes, little ramp on the right. Okay. Ready? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That ramp must be like on the limit of what you can actually do, hey? have been alive and a little bit exhausted but check out our nice room we've got a chair we've got a coffee table <laughs> which we bought some chamomile tea we are so wild <laughs> <laughs> i would say this is one of the nicest quality rooms we've had for the cheapest price like 12 pounds yeah. for this this is a massive space really really happy about that and we have an incredibly nice view as well but it's been a really really long six days i can really feel it especially since we were on all the winding roads in peru like because i'm having to change gear all the time like down for the speed bumps down for the bends up down up down up down like my knee my ankle my foot all on the left side i'm pretty sore my back is sore and <laughs> we've just been on the bike i think for too long yeah it was pretty hectic the last six days and we are ready for a rest and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time